New information this noon about the Metro North train crash last month. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. The federal investigation to last month's derailment has uncovered information about a track inspection that took place just days before that accident. News 8's Allie Reed live in our Fairfield County newsroom this noon with the details. Allie. Good afternoon, Keith. The NTSB found the track where the derailment took place was inspected just two days before the crash, and they say something at that time raised a red flag. A high rail train inspected the track on May 15th, two days before the derailment. According to the NTSB report, that inspection revealed an insulated rail joint with inadequate supporting ballast and indications a vertical movement of the track system right at the point where the derailment occurred. The train that was derailed was traveling toward New York City at about 70 miles per hour. Roughly 20 seconds after the train stopped on the adjacent track, it was hit by a train traveling to New Haven. The NTSB says the engineer on the moving train hit the emergency brakes, which slowed the train from 70 to 23 miles per hour at the point of impact. You may recall 73 passengers, two engineers, and a conductor were taken to hospital that day. So the question we want to know, should something have been fixed two days prior to this collision? What could have been done to perhaps prevent this tragic accident from occurring? We're going to take a closer look, dig a little deeper, ask some questions, and we'll have more for you tonight on later newscasts. For now, reporting live from the Fairfield County Newsroom at the Connecticut Post in Bridgeport, I'm Allie Reed, News 8.